Good morning, everybody. Low Wolf Rick here. And it is Wednesday morning hump day here on the Las Vegas Strip. Wednesday, May the 17th, 2023. About 8 a.m. and started this video. Currently 82 degrees uh, here in Las Vegas. And looking for a high about 94 today. And I'm starting this video up here on the south end of Las Vegas Boulevard. And right here at the uh, Welcome to Las Vegas side. Now the noise you hear over here, as you can see, we're right across from the airport also. Uh, we got a, uh, looks like a couple of jets uh, getting ready to uh, board and take off here. We just kind of take a look around here. the golf course here on the other side of the of the road over there valley high so i think we're just going to start this uh, walk up here and hit northbound down the strip Hope everybody's having a great week so far. They get this video here in in the morning time and uh, you know, before the heat sets in. And basically, we've got the. Uh, for the next foreseeable little future here, the next few days, going to have temperatures above 90 degrees. Is a fun fact that uh, maybe some of you know, maybe some of the uh, local people know that the tourists probably don't know. The uh, Welcome to Las Vegas sign was erected in uh, May of 1959. So, what's that make the sign 64 years old? which kind of led it a little bit to my uh, thinking of starting up here. May of 1959. Even as old as I am, I wasn't even bored yet. up here on the Harley Davidson store and if you've never checked this out you know, I, I think it's kind of worth coming up here to check it out you know for a large part it's just a large Harley Davidson retail store you know with all the apparel and souvenirs and everything but they do have motorcycles that they sell in there And I know at one time they actually would help you, uh, you know, if you were looking to maybe book a uh, kind of a cross-country motorcycle trip or whatever, they'd help you plan that also. I'm not sure if they still do that or not, but uh, the Recharge Zone, which has uh, drinks and snacks, and uh, you sit down there, you can get a cup of coffee and use your Wi-Fi if you need to.
See the, uh, the back of the... Uh, I get a welcome to Las Vegas size. Drive carefully, come back soon. The entrance to the golf course is over there. at the uh, construction site for the Dream Hotel. It's like construction still kind of at a standstill almost, huh? I know a little over a month ago, uh, they were... Uh, trying to secure some more financing and then about a week later they said they had secured it but uh, I don't see any uh, any sign of any activity of uh, work going on in there that's what it's supposed to look like Now, I just wanted to, and I've, I've mentioned this in a few videos, this area right in here, like the area that we started back in at the, uh, well, the Las Vegas side, which is for your GPS purposes, 5200 Las Vegas Boulevard South. That's the official address of that. But this area up here is not considered, and it's Las Vegas Boulevard, like I said, yeah, that address back there is Las Vegas Boulevard South. It's Las Vegas Boulevard. I mean, this whole stretch is Las Vegas Boulevard. But it is not designated the Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas Strip actually starts up here. It's like uh, near the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. That is the official designation. And it runs 4.2 miles from that spot to Sahara Avenue. So the Sahara Hotel is actually the last property on the Las Vegas Strip as the designation of the Strip goes, 4.2 miles. So if you hear anybody talk about the Strat or the Aztec Inn or any of those properties that's like that are on the other side of Sahara, and yes, it's on Las Vegas Boulevard. However, that is not designated the Strip. And it's the same way up here. It's like the uh, Welcome to Las Vegas site is not on officially the Las Vegas Strip. This is the coolest place in the world right here. If, uh, you know, if you're like me and you were a kid, there was no video games growing up realistically and you know pinball is all you had this will bring back a ton of memories you can go in here and buy a roll of quarters most of the games are still 25 cents you can buy a roll of quarters 
that I just enjoy like an hour or so of just playing pinball games. And there's hundreds of them in there. All ages from uh, from basically new pinball games. See that uh, helicopter take it off there. Basically new couple of them. New, uh, new pinball machines all the way back to ones from like the 40s and 50s. And you can play them all. Take a look over here. We've got the uh, fire department substation over here. Now it looks like this land right here next to the pinball place is for sale. 2.4 acres. Now this road right here is Russell Road. So if you're traveling southbound on the strip and you're looking to connect with Interstate 15, this road will get you there. See the control tower back there in the distance for the airport. And the jet kind of sitting out there in the runway. You get this empty piece of land, parcel of land right here, but it's not for sale. At least it doesn't have a for sale sign on it. Birds up there chirping in the trees. This right here is the oldest, uh, oldest building on the Las Vegas Strip. Built in the 1940s. And it is on the uh, historical thing. It's actually moved to this location. This is the original location. The original location was up by uh, what would have been at that time the old Frontier Hotel. It would have sat where now basically the, uh, the north end of the Fashion Show Mall is. when they were going to build the mall and everything they uh, they moved the church up here to this location another helicopter yeah, they have the helicopter tours of the city where they fly around and show you everything about the city from the uh, above angle they also have, have the Helicopter tours that'll take you to the Grand Canyon, if that's your thing. Looks like we got another project going on in here. However, that doesn't doesn't tell us a whole lot how to object dash. This right here is the parking garage 
for the Medley Bay Convention Center right here. Diamond Inn Motel, one of the last of the uh, mom and pop uh, hotels they used to like have all the way up and down this uh, stretch of road here. Sounds like a John Mellencamp song right there, right? Ain't that America for you and me? Little pink elephants for you and me. So it was little peak houses, but it's a peak motel. Maybe that'll work. But the peak elephant sounds like it would work a little bit better. Come up here on Dewey Drive. Just a little dead end access road, basically. So you get the road closed down there. And then right here on this spot, as mentioned in a few other videos that I've done, right here on this spot. This is where the Las Vegas Strip begins, right here. From this spot right here, 4.2 miles to Sahara Avenue at a Sahara Hotel. That is the official designation of the Las Vegas Strip. All right, so we have reached the point of, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Let me take a look here. Northbound, down the Las Vegas Strip at this point. Show you what you'd be looking at if you were driving this way. I am Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps our videos out a lot, helps keep it visible in that YouTube universe. And I'll be roaming around a little bit, see if there's anything else I can see. Hey, everybody take care, okay? Stay healthy. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.